In 1888, the Whitechapel district of East London lives in terror of the world's first serial killer. A man we know as Jack the Ripper prowls the streets of London, murdering women in the most horrific manner. The police seem clueless about his identity. Now let's go back in time, 25 years, to America. It's the end of the Civil War between the Confederacy and the Union. President Abraham Lincoln and the Union forces are victorious against the Confederates. And Lincoln has just won re-election as President of the United States. But just months before his second inauguration, Lincoln is assassinated by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theatre in Washington, D.C. So two terrible crimes, the killing of Lincoln and the Whitechapel murders. But what could possibly link them? Yet one man does. One man links the two most appalling crimes of the 19th century. His name is Francis Tumblety. A celebrity doctor in mid-19th century America, Francis Tumblety claims that his herbal remedies can cure anything from cancer to pimples, and he makes one big financial fortune after another. But there's a dark side to Tumblety. Charges of manslaughter, illegal abortion, fraud, and a private life that raises eyebrows. According to dinner party guests, he also has in a cabinet of curiosities a number of uteruses in glass jars, which he proudly displays to his guests. For years, he has been recognised as one of the key suspects in the Jack the Ripper case, and I'll offer compelling evidence that points to his guilt and how he escaped the hangman's noose. But I'll also prove that he was arrested 25 years earlier as a suspected member of the gang that was responsible for the assassination of Lincoln. I will show that he was embedded in that gang. This was such an astonishing discovery that it sent me on an investigative trail through contemporary newspaper records, court records, police records, and so on. What I discovered was truly shocking one revelation after another, one skeleton falling out of the cupboard after another. This man was something else. And I can now prove that Tumblety did indeed know John Wilkes Booth, the man who fired the fatal shot into Abraham Lincoln and employed one of Booth's associates and may have introduced Booth to Mary Surratt, the woman who was hanged over the Lincoln assassination. So he was truly involved with the Lincoln gang. I also discovered that Scotland Yard was utterly convinced about Tumblety's guilt, but there was more to it than that. They understood his modus operandi, how he had avoided conviction for a string of crimes going back 40 years. After he jumped bail and escaped the clutches of Scotland Yard over the Ripper killings, Tumblety went back to America. I followed his trail there, where there is a copycat Ripper killing in New York and a violent assault, and also the suggestion that Tumblety was involved in a string of murders in Texas years before. Right at the end of his life, Tumblety dies in a hospital in St. Louis, and on his body is found a very telling piece of evidence. I'll tell you about that in the book. Read my book then to find out how and why Francis Tumblety was Jack the Ripper, and how Jack the Ripper was involved in the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. I'll also be touching on fascinating aspects of Tumblety's sexuality, which have been ignored by a lot of, well, how should we put this politely, buttoned up historians. I'll give you the full details in the book. You are not going to want to miss this. Order your copy of Jack the Ripper and Abraham Lincoln on Amazon and other outlets online and offline. Jack the Ripper by me, Tony McMahon, a thoroughly enjoyable true crime read. Get it today.